And hey there, it's me, Muddling, and welcome back to some more Fire Emblem New Mystery of the Emblem. Last time, we took on Chapter 3, finally got a shit ton of, we got a shit ton of units last time, including the goddess of all, Paula, and, uh, Mathis. <laughs> oh, Mathis. Oh, Mathis, Mathis, Mathis. Well, we're still gonna use them again. Anyway, this time we're gonna be heading into a Gaiden chapter. This one is alright, I guess. It's a really short chapter, so... Uh, no, I'm not going to do chapter 4 as well. Chapter 4 is kind of yeah. long. Shaka, we have detected an enemy presence in the mountains. It seems there is a battle ongoing. Alright, Jake and Muddling, let us hurry with our preparations. Yeah, very quick. You see, oh look who's here, it's Clarice. And she, uh, I mean, she'd be scary if she could move. Or if she wasn't a sniper. <laughs> Anyway, uh, who to bring actually? Because you only you only bring six units. Oh wait, first thing I want to do: reclass Mathis. I'm gonna make Mathis a Mermidon. Actually, no, Merka Mermidon. Oh no, Mermidon. Yeah, there you go. Myrmidon Mathis. That's what I'm doing. It's like a 55% speed growth now. Or a close to 45, 50, something like that. I just want Mathis to get more like, speed and all that. Let's see. Uh, I can turn you into a hunter now. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Hunter Gordon and Hunter uh, Ryan. Still can't turn you into a pirate though. Not quite yet. Anyway, who to bring now? Uh, well, I'll bring myself. Bring, like I'll bring Katria, Linde, Mathis as well, and. Malaysia. <laughs> hmm, yeah, I should do. Now to, uh... I can't even do any damage to these guys, actually. That's fine. There's a lot of supports you can do now. How's everyone? A quick lens. What the fuck's the quick lens? There's most experience and get that quick lens. What? Okay. Um, early game brave lens. That's nice, I guess, but not really gonna help me all too much. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. But, yeah, I don't use it. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy your fire token. I also, because of the online shop, uh, I think, yeah, it's because of the, um, because of me being, because of the lunatic save file I have saved. Um, all, you can buy all these, um, all these stat, one, all these stat boosters, but we're not gonna be doing that. At least not now. Might like buy more. We can only buy one of each, I believe, so. It's fine if I get them after. Anyway, Gordon and Ryan too. Hey Ryan, have you seen Mudlink? Mudlink, he was here until a moment ago. Mudlink, he doesn't seem to be around. Ryan, you've become stronger. Why do you say that? Before, you never shout for anything. I think you should thank everyone in the 7th platoon. Yeah, sounds likely. Then perhaps I should make you. I should ma have you make a speech in front of everyone. What? I'm not ready for something like that yet. If it's a speech you want, ask Mudlink, not me. Ah, <laughs> I see. So that's still hard for you. Though I'm not good at making speeches either. Don't make me do what you can't, brother. But I think that alone should allow me to write a good reply. What reply? 
Mother was worried about you, so she sent me a letter. I think it sounded better if I if I could say uh, if I could say you made a public speech, but uh, I'll go look for Mudlink. Me in Malaysia, that's weird. Hey, you're Prince Mud's personal knight, aren't you? Yes, that's right. My name is Mudlink, and you are. I'm Malaysia. There's something I want to know about my dear Prince Marth. Prince Marth, your dear Prince. Well, he is a prince, but. You see, men are such disgusting creatures, but Prince Martha is totally different. He reached out to me gently with his comforting eyes. He even promised to marry me right in front of Granny. Really? I find that difficult to believe. I remember when I closed my eyes as I was being pursued by bandits and cried for help. Prince Marth came gallantly gall 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 galloping to my rescue riding a white horse. My leech doesn't ride a white horse, or any kind of horse. Do not fuss over the details. Oh yes, where should we hold our wedding? Prince Marth might want an Altea, but I want Granny to see me in a wedding dress. And then after the wedding, we'd look up at the night sky from the castle's balcony, just the two of us. And I'd say, isn't it beautiful? Then he would whisper into my ear, not nearly as much as you are. And then, and then we'd kiss gently under the moonlight. Eek, silly Malaysia. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt at such an important part, but... Uh, please stop, Prince Marth, I'm so embarrassed. Prince Marth recently got engaged. But if you want to, then I... <laughs> <laughs> she isn't listening at all, I suppose I'll just let her be. She has a support, if I remember correctly, she has a support with Cheetah, so it makes this even funnier. Yeah, she's just like, her entire character is wet from Marth. Not too big on her, but like, her, the conversation is going to at least be fun, at the very least. Somewhat. Hmm. Sir Gordon, is something troubling you? Oh hey, Marlink is something important, but Marlink, how do I look? Huh? I'm not exactly the best person to ask for fashion advice. No, I was just thinking, I've never really had any presents. Just scream, but Mars! <laughs> presents, you mean like Sir Jagan? Yeah, the kind of presents people recognize from a glance. The kind that makes you nervous even when you've done no wrong. I've got a kitty face, so I don't look like a, I don't like a senior knight much. But worst part is when I look even younger than you. Indeed. It was like that the last time I watched the new knight's training. When the young apprentice knights passed by me in the castle, they said, You do your best too! I cannot but think they mistook me for an apprentice, apprentice like themselves. So you've experienced that. That's not all. Some even wanted me to run errands for them. Because of things like that, I wanted to become respected. But like, could you tell me if you ever find a good way? I ran into that. Apparently mother and father wanted to have a girl. Sometimes I wonder what it would be like to have a big sister. I understand that feeling well. What if I had a sibling? That question often crosses my mind. I wanted a brother, a younger one. Really? Yeah, I think I'd dote on my little brother if, whether if I had one. It'd be great if I had a docile little brother like you. Oh, but since I'm a man, I can't be the big sister you wanted. Oh, well, I don't have to be a big sister. I'd be happy with a big brother too. All oh, right, you do. I just thought it'd be nice if the three of us were siblings, Mudlink. Haha, <laughs> I see. Oh, my current says. Apparently, the assassins who made an attempt on Prince Marth's life have appeared in the Northern Mountains. There are rumors that are targeting former comrades of ours from the Ward of Shadows. Ward of Shadows. The Prince has decided to pursue the enemy. Let's hurry to battle preparations. Well, I mean, I'm already finished. I just want to read all the supports and that. Anyway. So, I'm surrounded. How sad. I guess this is the end of the road for me. Alright, he's right where we want him. Now to savor his pain as we slowly draw the light from his tormented soul. Klein, the, Alt Klein, the Altaian army has arrived. It's what a nuisance. I, and I hate to admit it, but you were right about this outcome. Altaians never abandoned their comrades. You sure learned a lot about that trash from your time staying with them. My job is to kill one by one everyone who sided with Marth in the previous war. Because if, he's, if his allies live, they'll eventually join him one after another, and that would be dangerous. Uh, are, you, are you really up for that for the task? I don't need to get my my hands dirty, do I? My underlings can get the job done. Or hardly dealing with strong enemies. You'll die if you underestimate Mudlink and the others climb. I served as mud, uh, Mudlink's tacticians, but I wasn't much help as one. I didn't give them the advice a tactician should give. Even without me, Mudlink and the others are strong. What? Have you become attached to the Altains after your little frolic with them? Then just sit there and watch. Watch hard and well as I kill your beloved com companions. Oh yes, and please, don't get in my way, okay? I'm really not a big fan of the name here. I, I actually do prefer Clarice, like in, uh, like in Heroes. Yeah, 
Anyway, yeah. Uh, if we can finally talk about Riss, everyone. <laughs> oh, he did not get fixed at all. <laughs> he's just a heal staff, except he's the second one you can have now instead of Malaysia, but you don't really have too many. I won't really have too much space for him, so. Yeah, that's all I can say. He has a support Rashida, which is cool. That's about it. Riss is kind of poopy. Bruh, Linda, you can't fucking double or armor knight your ones. Your ones. Oh no, these ones just rounded up their speed. Okay. Wait, what? Oh no, wait. No, I need four speed. Damn, Linda. Okay. Guess uh, Aura's gonna have to do. Okay, um. Well, I can run around these guys at least with uh, myself. Oh shit, um. Okay, Kratom, that's good. Well, you can't kill right there, sadly. Nosferatu. It's gonna, it's gonna help you. Dodge. Fuck. I think I'm about to die. Yep. Okay. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that. Now, now we're back here. If we just do one more point of damage, then I would be fine with it. Ugh, man. Just man. Maybe I shouldn't just rush him like that, but I kind of have to. Oh, I will. Linda's dead now. Man! Hang on. Okay. This time, different strategy. Put you in the fort here. Bring you here. Nosferatu. Rapier and then Okay like that. That should work out. Yeah. I'm going to heal myself up fully. I love the nice frog to jump. Well not fully, I don't double him. Well whatever. <laughs> Yikes, that hurts. Okay, bro. Man, motherfucker. Okay, well, I can kill this guy with aura at the least. At the very least, uh... Damn it, can't do anything. I think Riss might die, but honestly speaking, who gives a shit about saving Riss? It's Riss. 
All right, I'm leaving the rest to you. Others are coming to help you soon, so hurry and kill them already. If by some chance those rats aren't dead when I return, I'll make sure you're dead. Got it? Yeah, and she just fucking leaves. Not, not like she was a tough boss anyways. You just surround her. Anyway, uh... Let's see, one defense, so that's four defense. Oh no, you're not fucking with me. Oh. Well, oofies. I guess I uh... Oh wait, I got... I can do this. Oh, ouch. Uh, I missed a hit. But I don't think I can kill right now. Oh. Yikes. No, I think I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. With the tour, if I didn't have the tour shard on on you, I would I wouldn't be fine. Anyway, got a Mathis kill at the very least. When all else fails, at least I got a Mathis kill. HP luck, motherfucker. And will I say level up? Magic speed. Riss is fucking dead. Well, who cares? No, actually, can I kill you? Uh, I can't. I can't just shit damage you right now. Whatever. So level up for Blinde at least. HP, magic, skill, luck. Damn it! Once you get speed. Wait, do I, did I get the hammer in my... Oh yeah, I did. So this, it just comes next chapter. So yeah, Riss, you know what? You can die, Riss. <laughs> I also... Weird thing about why Riss, because Riss is just suddenly hands in the main game. Uh, in the original FE3, book 1 and 2, Riss just didn't show up. In book 1, he was replaced by a vulnerary in the house he used, he used normally in. And in book 2, he just, I guess, died of old age. I think that's what they were going for. Whatever, risk you're dead. Who cares? It's the pity, so my end has come. Ouchie. Okay, I'm completely fine, yeah. I fucking hate ambush ones so much. Why must you exist in any game? Okay, who to give the kill to? Uh, I'm just gonna give it to you. Oh, these guys are just moving in. Except for that one guy who's just like, staying there. I don't know why he's just staying there. One fucking strength off from killing that guy. Whatever. I'm gonna go back here. I'm completely fine. guy down a little health so I can ship him down and kill him afterwards with, with my boy Mathis.
Yeah, this chapter's pretty much over and done with. Yeah, math this one. Oh yeah, and like, uh, actually no wait, I forgot to mention something. As you, as you can like, uh, I mean, you, you can't really tell them on the prologue a different way, a bit different chapter objectives. But in this game, they actually decided to add in a few chapter objectives. In guided chapters only. <laughs> Which, even then, only two guided chapters have, only, actually no, three guided chapters have unique, um, only three guiding chapters have unique, um, unique objectives. The rest are C's. And then, of course, I mean, I'll talk about the last chapter. You'll, you'll see. Alright, so now... Do that. And it sucks Severus is dead again, but who cares? Oh, it sucks Severus died, who cares? It's Riss. Ouch. Oh my god, yay! Mathis! Moment. Like, he didn't even chip that guy down if I wanted to. Give all the kills I can to Mathis. That's that's the strat. Yeehaw, buddy. There you go, that's the end of the guy in chapter. Pretty easy chapter overall, just, you know, keeping Rissa life is a bit difficult. <laughs> Alright. Time to seize. Sorry, the battle is over. Thank you, Mudlink. We've repelled the Ashashans, but we cannot afford to linger here. I'm, I agree, I'm worried about Ogma. Let's, let us hurry to Lord Wendell's place. The Altains are better than I expected. Oh well, we can all snuff them out later. I'll let them live for now. I warned you, the Altain army is strong. Gosh, Ayn, you can be you can be annoying sometimes. Which side are you supposed to be on? Don't tell me you're thinking of betraying Lady Lady Aramaya. No, that thought could never cross my mind. We all live for Lady Aramaya. For her sake, I must defeat Mudlink. I know that well enough. Yeah, that's it for that chapter. Uh, you know. Since it's a very this is a very short episode, let's like do the intro to chapter four. It's a very interesting chapter to say the least. Joy and sorrow. Martha's unable to reunite with Princess Minerva, and so, in order to help Ogma and the Grustian royal children, he visit he decided to visit Wendell, who was once the guard the children's guardians. Over the home beach where Wendell resides is, do is dominion of the infamous Macedonian Vikings. Countless pirates await in Mar Mark's path. Will Mark be able to sa safely res rescue the children? I just had motor mouth for a second. It's a pretty big and open chapter. Got villages here. Got a paladin. Oh, I'll talk about you next episode and then the boss here, Guile. This chapter is a bit of. Uh, you'll see what this chapter, how this, what this chapter is all about next time. Anyway, I'm actually gonna prepare. Uh, yeah, Mathis definitely, Malaysia, I have to. Mudlink, Kunde, Kesha, Doga, Gordon Ryan. Guess I bring Paula with me now. You know, to bring Paula with me. I'm thinking, should I just promote somebody right now? If I, if I promote, like, Gordon? I could promote Gordon if I wanted to. Or myself. 
No, I'm gonna wait to get until I get a bit more speed before doing that. Actually, wait, hang on. No, I like still only have one. Uh, actually. Let's just, yeah, let's just do the conversations here. Name my link. I don't believe we've been introduced. I am my link, Prince Marth Royal Guard. I am Monday, daughter of Pontifex Maloa. Pontifex Maloa, is he famous? Well, wow, you don't know, father? No, I don't, sorry. Please forgive my ignorance, I come from the country. Though I'm sure he's a great man. He is, there's not a soul in our canal who doesn't know father. Well, except for me, apparently. He was a wonderful Pontifex, respected by everyone. I've always wanted to be like him. I see, sounds like someone I'd like to meet. Is he in Arcanea right now? He passed away, killed by the dark pontifex Garnef. I see, my condolences. It's fine, don't worry. What about your family? I don't have one anymore. I used to have my grandfather, but he's gone too. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. How should I put it? It's a draw or square? Or even? Yeah, yes, that works. <laughs> You're funny. Very well, Mudlink. It was nice meeting you. Pleasure's mine. Yeah, it's like, oh, we're square. I have a dead relative. You have a dead relative. Okay, Katra, me and Katria. Greetings. You are Prince Marth's royal guard, Mudlink, correct? And you are Dame Katria of the White Macedonian White Winds. Just Katria is fine, thanks. We're comrades. I'd be happy if we could talk normally between us. All right, all right, all right, all right I like that too. We've already fought together for a while. That yeah, we have. I've seen you battle many times. You fought with peerless devotion to protect Prince Marth, just as I'd expect from Prince Marth's royal guard. I'm honored. Thank you for your high praise. I've watched you fight too. You're incredibly powerful. I admire you as a warrior. Huh, you embarrass me. In the coming battles, I bet we'll fight together many more times. I'm counting on you. Li yes, likewise. Very just normal sports. Now we have... <laughs> Ooh, this is what I can support. I like this. Sire, are, are you departing? Hello, Mudlink. I was just heading to the armory. You need not trouble yourself with such trivial, trivial, uh, trivial chore, sire. Uh, to quote this. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you require a royal cockstroking, sire? <laughs> uh, I still remember that fucking line. Like it was yesterday. <laughs> Speak the word and I'll fetch as many iron swords. Thanks, I'll be fine. I'm used to it. Besides, I want to affirm the situation with my own eyes. Then I shall accompany you. Thank you, Mudlink, but I'm going to visit the armory. And there's no need to bother, bother you. I understand, sire. Still, it would be terrible if anything were to happen to you. It is my duty as a royal guard to protect you at all times. You worry too much, Mudlink, but I appreciate it. Alright, let's go together. Yes, sire. Marth can't even go to a fucking armory without <laughs> the avatar just being like, I shall accompany you. We have, quelled, we have quelled the rebellion in Macedon. However, Princess Minerva, thought to be in the rebel's grasp, is elsewhere. If only we had met the Princess, we, we might have been able to avoid confronting Rang like that. I myself have no regrets. The question is how he's going to react. I just hope he doesn't do anything bad. According to Lang, Sher Agma, the Prince and Princess of Grushin is going to meet Lord Wendell. We too came here to join Sher Agma, but this is pirate territory. Let's try carefully, whatever. No, I'm serious. Sir Jake and I have returned with the scouts. These are the details. Hmm, we have to rescue Sher Agma's group as soon as possible. What's this? Who's the paladin right beside Sher Agma? The details are unclear. The scouts say he's a masked man of unknown identity. But hmm, but if he's a paladin, I doubt he's conspiring with those bandits. Depending on how we talk to him, he might even become our ally. Oh, we're gonna have to talk about him next time. So yeah, there's a... Mm, no, because of how this chapter is, I'm probably going to end up restarting a few times. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to end it off here. So, and next time on Fire Emblem, the Fire Emblem New Mystery of the Emblem Left Play, we're going to be taking on Chapter 4. A, a tough chapter, to say the least. Oh, look at Devil Sword. <laughs> Can't wait to use that and then immediately die again like I did with Doros. <laughs> yeah, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.